every cool to you I got too much on my mind right now I ain't got the time to get you sent around I got too much on my mind right Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Michelle Jones. Thank you guys so much for being here. So for this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how I achieved this Flexi Ride set. Um, I did use, I used Shea Motion products that they sent me in the mail. Um, how do I open this? <laughs> so this is their Beach Essentials Edition collection. And so I deep con focus. So I deep condition with their Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strength, Strengthen and Restore Treatment Mask. Um, I didn't use the shampoo, but it came with Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strengthen and Restore shampoo. I actually already own this. But I didn't use shampoo. I just co-washed this this week. Um, for my leave-in, they sent me their sugar cane extract and metal foam seed silicone-free miracle styler leave-in treatment with marshmallow roots. And this is what it looks like. Um, next, I used their Hold and Shine Moisture Mist. And for the gel to hold my curls, they sent their 100% virgin coconut oil daily hydrating styling gel. And this is my first time actually using this. So this is what the PR package looks like. So thank you so much, Shea Moisture, for sending me this package. So for some reason, this side of my hair and I flex around it, it's not as long as this side. I think it's the way that I curled it, but I feel like my hair really turned out awesome. Um, my hair doesn't have any crunch. It's a very soft hold. If you're looking for more of a structured, hard wrap, well, foam set, well, flexi ride set, then you should try this. But if you want more of a soft, natural kind of feeling hair, then you should definitely give this Flexi Ride Set um, combination a try. I highly recommend it. I think I look kind of cute if you ask me. So, I did add a little bit of temporary color to my hair. Um, I used the Pop Curl color. Um, and I'm going to show you guys in the video how I just simply applied it to my tips of my hair. I only did it in the front. I didn't want too much color. I just wanted to see how it would turn out. But yeah, this is the final results. And this is actually like day three hair, I think. Because I wore it to class. I didn't have time to film that day. So I did my hair, went to class went to sleep and woke up so this is the, the next day well maybe I don't know what day I'm off I got <laughs> but yeah the, these are the final results a few days later I really apologize but in video you can also see the very moment I took out my foot throughout how how it um turned out um uh, but yeah I'm just gonna let you guys get right on in this tutorial and if you haven't already then please subscribe down below it would be very much appreciated and if you are coming back if you're one of my old time subscribers my gang gang thank you so much for being here i really appreciate the support and yeah i'll see you guys in the video all right guys so already i co-wash and i deep finished my hair with the shea moisture black cast oil deep conditioner and I use my Curidu to steam my hair while I let that deep conditioner sit on my hair. So I'm not going to talk a lot throughout this video because it's kind of pretty self-explanatory. I'm just let you guys enjoy the video. So I'm obviously just going to start putting my hair in sections. 
Now that my hair are in sections, I'm going to use the Shea Moisture Silicone Free Miracle Styler Leave-In. Um, because, as you guys know, I obviously do the lock method, which is leave-in oil cream. But, I didn't use a cream. I used this whole, I mean, I didn't use the oil. I used this Hold and Shine Mist by Shea Moisture. Uh, I don't know. I just feel like a, a oil would have held down my curls. My curls have been using this Daily Hydration Styling Gel by Shea Moisture as well. Um, I'm only taking a little bit of this gel. I don't want my hair to be too hard. I kind of want it to be soft. So, yeah, I only took a little bit. And so, I originally I only started using these three foam rollers. But throughout the video, you're going to see I actually end up using two additional other color foam rollers. Um, so, first, you just want to make sure that that section is detangled. And to flex your eye, all you want to do is start at the ends. And you kind of want to tuck your ends of the hair and kind of just roll it from there. And just keep rolling it all the way up. And then you just bend the flexi rod over to hold the flexi rod in place, if that makes sense. I hope I explained that well. But at this point, it's kind of repetitive. I'm literally doing the same thing. Leave in, spray, gel, roll. Leave in, spray, gel, roll. That's all I'm doing. And like I said, make sure you start at the tips of your hair. Roll, kind of like tuck your ends around the roller first. And then just keep rolling up. Like you see right here, my ends were still kind of curly. And I'm just holding it to make sure that my hair straightens out my curls. It's okay if you look crazy once you do this for the first time. Because it doesn't come natural to me either. So I look kind of weird when I'm when I'm actually doing this. But in the end, it'll be worth it. Like practice makes perfect. Like if you don't get it the first time, then just keep trying. And the front of my hair is way easier to curl than the back because my hair is kind of damaged from always wearing buns when I was in the service. So that's why my curl pattern is so loose in the front versus the back of my hair. I really hate it, but eventually it'll grow out.
yeah, yeah, lay your head right here Hear my heart go bottle, beat it out, put up Said I put that on my mama, true love, true love Since I found you, it just won't stop, it goes bottle, put up, put up If it's about you, I pull up, I pull make my heart go bottle, put up Since I found you, it just won't stop, it goes 